All right, let's close this section out and uh, take care of the propellers because it would be kind of cool to have the propeller spinning. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a really basic uh, implementation of this. I'll let you guys, it'll be a challenge. How about that? I'll let you guys tie it to, you know, the actual throttle and all that stuff and spin it up as, you know, the engine is rolling. Uh, it would also be good. I think at some point I should show um, how I uh, create, you know, the blurred versions um, like I did in the... Uh, the indie pixel helicopter course so anyways let's take care of the the propellers here in a simple way all right so um since the propellers are on the engine might as well take care of the rotation of the propellers at the engine level right so if we go into our engine script here um let's do a new function so let's do something right here we'll do a void not a virtual let's do a void uh, handle uh propellers Like so. All right, then we'll just call it at the end here or something like that. Yeah, that's a good place to start at least. All right, and then let's go and add some uh, variables up here. So we're going to do a new header first, just to differentiate it in the inspector. So we'll call this uh, propeller uh, properties, like so. And the first thing I want, I want to do a private uh, transform, and we'll call this... Um, object or mesh or just call it propeller how about that yeah and then we want our private uh we need a rotation speed so basically just need a float and we'll say um prop rot speed <laughs> all right now let's get our uh, serialized field uh, attribute here for these guys and we'll go hit the home button there all right so now we got enough data there to go so let's first say we're gonna do something like um, if um, not propeller basically so if we don't have anything assigned then we should just ignore any code below this so we're not you know causing any errors and then we're gonna say um, propeller if we do have a propeller we're gonna say propeller dot rotate and inside of this rotate uh, there's a awesome override function here that allows us to provide an axis and that axis is going to be vector three dot up and our rotation speed and that's just going to be our prop rot speed there you go that's really all you need to do now this is just going to basically spin uh, the moment that we actually turn the uh the game on the moment we play the game so not totally realistic and i encourage you to take on the challenge of making it more realistic and <laughs> obviously it's not going to work because we haven't assigned the propellers yet so well, let's do that uh, let's actually do it through here uh, because we have these nice nifty little buttons now that we can actually click so we can do that and that gets us to that particular engine script and we need to assign propeller 4 to it so let's do that we'll say propeller 4 and let's uh, go back to the code too we should always put in an initial value let's put it at like 300 revolutions per minute or per frame I think it is uh, I'll have to look that one up again so let's just put 300 in there uh, let's get this guy all right so let's click that little button which propeller is it propeller 2 all right so I want propeller 2 in there we'll set this guy to 300 as well and then let's go and do this guy so who's this propeller 1 all right set that to 300 and this guy it's a propeller three go we'll put in 300 let's take a look at that now all right let's go and see yeah you know makes it feel a little bit more real pretty cool <laughs> it goes pretty fast. You know, the other things you have to do, you know, set up the dynamic drag. Uh, I'll keep working on this. And um, if you purchase it through Gumroad, you'll get all the updates and stuff like that. But I obviously, you know, always encourage everyone to, you know, give it a try themselves. Um, there was also, I did all the dynamic drag stuff inside of the airplane and the helicopters course. Those are good resources for that. Um, but yeah, drone. How cool is that, huh?
be cool to actually create a camera where you are just standing in one spot, but the camera is actually looking at you. You could also do a chase cam too. It'd be kind of fun. I, see, I totally lost it. Well, there's that. So let's uh, close out the section there. And uh, yeah, I'm going to call it good. Uh, like I said, if you purchase this on, this on uh, Gumroad, then you'll get uh, the free updates as I add more components to it. Uh, it would be really cool to actually turn this into some sort of game. So if you actually do turn it into a game, please let me know. Uh, if you do end up using these um, drone assets in your game, I only ask that you give credit to IndiePixel for the creation of it. That would be awesome. And so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's a fun little project. Still really, you know, basic level drone controller, but we got it all working. So, yeah, hopefully you learned some things from that. And uh, let me know. Leave some comments. Thanks so much.